When you're going through a, 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 a fight week, and typically this is probably when you start to do all your water loads and, and things of that nature, right? Yep. What is what is a sample? I know it's probably it's just this is a general approach, but what's a sample diet look like for that week of uh, of uh, the final week of uh, the fight camp? It, this is something that I spoke with. Uh, I had a few of the other uh, weight cut guys on Andy Galpin and Tony Ricci and uh, Matteo Cappadoglia from Italy. We had them on and, and kind of we, we were breaking some of this down. And what we do that might be a little bit different. We try not to drop calories three weeks out. We actually try and fix calories and or increase calories. But what we do is we start adding meals. Mm -hmm. So let's say we're taking in 2000 calories a day spread over five meals. We'll jump that to six meals and we won't drop calories. We're focused on digestive efficiency here. And yeah. it's interesting how, and there's, we can debate this and I'm sure I could get two PhDs to take opposite sides of this conversation. Mm. It's, it's simple calories in, calories out. And that's all that matters. 3000 calories in one meal or 10 meals doesn't matter. But in the real world, the human body does not work based upon math. It works based upon biology. And we have seen that athletes who eat the same amount of food spread multiple times throughout the day, drop weight. They do not hold on to the same weight. That's possibly due to reduction in um, inflammation through the digestive uh, Im improvement of digestive efficiency, which is one of our main focuses as we get into fight week. We're focused mostly on digestive efficiency during fight week. So the athletes can retain as many of the vital nutrients as possible Instead of some of the other systems, they go straight keto. They drop the fiber, they drop the sugar, they go, they go meats and fats. That makes no sense for a glycolytic athlete, in our opinion. That also makes no sense with regards to di digestive efficiency. We improve digestive efficiency. We improve micronutrient intake. We do not drop fiber. We, in fact, increase fiber. And we try and keep um, um, carbohydrate intake relatively stable. Now we bring it down closer to what's necessary because activity drops also. So intake mimics expenditure. They're, that way the athlete's fully fed, but then we're feeding them in two hour intervals instead of four hour intervals. And it's much easier to time their meals based upon their activity. Yeah.